Go Nichiwa, I mean, this is Tisa and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first impressions video is going to be on a PSP game, and that is Atari Classics Evolved. Now, I have played a updated version of Atari games before on the DS, and the name eludes me what it was called. So I'm curious to see what they were able to do for the PSP, um, and you know, this is going to be fun. So as always, I get 10 minutes to play the game, first time playing the game, or version thereof, and I won't skip anything. So let's get that timer started. Alright. So, let's see, arcade. Play, well yeah, we're just going to do some of these. Single player, yes. Sure. Oh yeah, I remember playing this. I never got the opportunity to actually play the arcade version of this. But, oh, this is always a fun game. Really, really hard. Take not! I shall rule the world, and you shall die. Ah, oh, I miss the UFO. Got it. And he's probably got me. Yep, he got me. Nice. Oh. No. Whoa. What was that? And how did I? What did I do? Score too many points all of a sudden and this rock is coming out of nowhere? Oh well. High score. Yes. Oh, Millibee. Okay. Well, <laughs> since I can't really do that, <laughs> I'll hold the Roy here and I'll try and uh, pretend to blame it correctly. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's kind of funny if you think about it, because it's like, this is one of those games that shouldn't get upgraded. Ah, oh, come on. One thing I always hate about Millipede. If you don't kill him fast enough, they keep on coming until they obliterate you. I'll try to make sure that while you guys are watching this that I uh, rotate the video right here to... Uh, yeah, this is hard to play. Like this. <laughs> That's awesome. Bug guts on the, the window. That's awesome. Okay, come on. I gotta hit you. Gotta hit you. Ah. I hate it when that happens. You think you got it? And yeah. Oh, 
Now there's too many of them. This is one of my mother's favorite games for the Atari. Dory actually picked this up for her for Christmas with a Game Boy just because she wanted it. That and Tetris Blast. Oh man, now it's getting faster. Not cool. And he got me. That was that's always fun to play. Okay. Warlords. Oh. The joys I had playing this game. Man, we'd get into wars like crazy. Yeah, sorry, I've been on a, on a nostalgic uh, trip. Remember when me and my uh, my brother, and my sis, my brothers and my sisters, how you know what we'd uh, what we did play every once in a while when we got together back when we were really young. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm purple. I like the upgraded graphics on this one. Oh. <laughs> no, that one gets worse. This is, oh. Uh... Now, I do know that they did do a remake on the PS3. Oh! No, attack the orange guy! Oh. Come on, come on. I am so going to lose this. Oh, I just lost it. Ah. Oh. That was fun. Ooh, hey, I got some rewards. Go Ruby. Pong. Yeah. I have to. Still, my favorite version of Pong is Cycle Pong for DOS. But then I really enjoy the, uh, the Pong remake that came out. I think it was for PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, and several other systems. Then, of course, you also had Mortal Pong from Cheesy Software, <laughs> which was hilarious. I hate you. Oh, come on! I knew I got it that time. Ah! Okay, so I suck at Pong, alright? 
with extremely small paddles. No, man. Eventually, you will have to miss two, but not before you win. Ah! Roy, okay. Well, that's right, there was Pong. And there goes my timer. So. Yeah. I like it. I like what they did. They act, it looks like they went through and did a, an, a visual upgrade to each one of them. Um, I don't like how they shrunk down the paddles and pong. But let's see, just see real quick. Okay, asteroids, centipedes on here, super breakout, missile command, ooh, lunar lander. Of course, the hardest one. Asteroids Deluxe? Well, I haven't played that one before. And then, um... Oh, ooh, they have Tempest on here. So, all in all, I mean, that's a really nice thing. Plus, we get to play the original arcade version, and we get to play these upgraded uh, graphical versions of the game, which is really nice. Um, there is multiplayer, which is really good as well. I have to say, this this is, this is a win. Upgrade it to where they're not super upgraded, but just a, a visual upgrade to make the games look nice. But since we also get to play the original version, and that's there, that's um, a really nice thing too. So I'm really excited that they did this. You know, it's something I need that, to be honest, we don't always need a compilation disc of updated graphical versions of games. You know, because going with the classic arcade versions are normally good enough and because we've seen so many horrible upgraded versions of games that, yeah, just really bad. But then this one just... Stuck to what the game was. Okay. Here's some graphical upgrades. Have fun. You know, then they don't go and just completely make the game make no sense. Like the PlayStation 2 Space Invaders game that made no sense and looked horrible. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, for all of you out there who are into playing the old classics... Um, this is one of those that I would say definitely pick up for your PSP because it's a fun game. It well, fun games that we have grown up uh, with and played for oh, you know, forever. And because it has some visual upgrades to at least add a little bit more to our gameplay, that makes it even better. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Tisa Curtis saying ciao and sayonara.